Hello students. Now we are going to study today the last part or last topic of the chapter sound and that is noise pollution. Okay. So, I will just put the heading noise pollution. Okay. In journal when we talk about pollution okay in journal I am talking. So, when we say pollution now what is the meaning of pollution? Pollution when anything which is pure okay and in this pure thing when something which is very harmful which is not you know uh, which, which can affect our health which can affect our environment get mixed up that is pollution okay. But today we are going to study specifically about noise pollution okay. Today we are going to talk about specifically noise pollution. So, before starting noise pollution just a uh, you know a view a general uh, discussion about the air pollution just about the definition. So, what is air pollution when any harmful or you know the, the substance which uh, may have adverse effect on our health get mixed up with the air is what air pollution. When we talk about water pollution again when some unwanted material okay when some unwanted material get mixed up with the water and on consumption of such kind of water like we can uh, have several kind of diseases or that means in short it is very harmful for us again that is water pollution okay. Now, so what is the meaning of noise pollution? When we talk about noise pollution see in our uh, life in a forget about the life it is a big thing just in a day in a single day we come across many many types of sounds many different kinds of sounds is not it. Uh, maybe tripping of birds maybe barking dog maybe uh, the voice of you know different machines maybe the generator voice maybe mixer grinder washing machine ok uh, maybe teachers voice parents friends uh, school bell different different kinds of sounds different different sound, uh, types of you know voices we come across and out of this what we can say like what are the uh, sounds in uh, like which is not very pleasing for us which you know when we hear the sound we do not feel any uh, it does not give any kind of happiness to us or it does not uh, it creates disturbance for us ok. So, just give a thought to this that in a day what all voices what all sound we come across and out of all these sounds what are or which one uh, which is the one which creates disturbance ok which creates you know which we th think that oh no we do not want this kind of sound and it should be stopped immediately ok. So, any kind of sound which is not pleasant ok any kind of sound which is unpleasant and create disturbance is known as what sound pollution is known as what sound pollution. So, which kind of sound uh, uh, is the which, which, which are the different kind of sounds which can pollute the atmosphere see maybe the machines when uh, you know big heavy machines are run in the factories in the industries they produce you know huge or loud sound and the these kind of sounds are really very irritating you know? these sounds uh, like you know, sometimes it becomes really unbearable even the one who stays near airport you know day and night when you hear the noise of the planes it really becomes unbearable ok. So, when we talk about noise pollution what has to be written what has to be uh, what what are the things which has to be you know given thought of which, which, which we have to write in sound pollution all those sounds which we do not like see this is another case that you do not like a particular teacher and you do not like her voice that is another thing ok that is not a pollution, but in general any kind of sound which is producing disturbance ok which does not gives a good feeling which is not pleasant is all what pollution ok. Then uh, one more thing which I have discussed earlier also that sometimes a sound can be you know it can uh, come into the category of pollution for one person, 
but for the another person it can be quite pleasant. Uh, that day also I gave you the same example like you hear some music maybe some kind of you know uh, very uh, new modern music which I hate. So, you may you know like that music you may like that fast beats and you know drums and all this thing, but it can be giving disturbance it can create disturbance for me ok. So, if we leave this small aspect that sometimes some voices some noise some sounds can be you know very pleasant for a person, but at the same time these all can be very very unpleasant very very you know disturbing for some other person ok. Apart from this in general when we talk about so any unpleasant sound is pollution ok. Now, in this uh, in, in this category what are the sounds which uh, can be put up maybe the sounds which comes from the machines ok, maybe the sounds of the loudspeakers ok. See our country is a religious one and very often we have one or the other religious uh, uh, some function or you know even sometimes the political functions or maybe uh, anything where the loudspeakers are used. These loudspeakers create lot of noise pollution is not it. So, uh, even this can be uh, included into the pollution ok. Now, what actually like uh, what happens when the noise increases ok and how can we say that this particular sound is music and this particular sound is uh, noise ok. So, when you know when the effect of particular sound is very pleasant. So, it can be known as music, music is always pleasant you know it is uh, it gives uh, it is very uh, uh, it brings a person in a peaceful mood rather noise you know uh, create many kind of uh, you know it hampers our daily routine. So, now what are the things which uh, can be seen as a result of noise pollution. So, maybe you know sometimes uh, headache just take an example like somebody sitting just nearby you and he keeps on shouting and talking or even if he speaks very loudly. So, you know what we feel oh my god either this person should move from here or we should go from here is not it. Why because our you know it gives a feeling of like maybe sometimes we may have headache or maybe like the no feeling of like what is this like it is it just seems to be nonsense un, untolerable ok it becomes untolerable unbearable. So, all these uh, can be the effects of noise pollution and we will discuss many more effects of noise pollution just we will write the uh, um, uh, what definition of noise pollution ok. So, just about the definition of noise pollution. So, what can we write what can be the definition of sound pollution or noise pollution a sound which does not have a pleasant effect on us ok. A sound which does not have a pleasant effect on us that means, it is what it is creating disturbance for us it is not create it is not giving peaceful it is not creating peaceful atmosphere for us ok. So, anything which is like that comes under the category of what noise pollution ok. What else can we write over here a sound which <coughs> ok. So, a sound which gives a pleasant effect a pleasant effect or sensation on our ears is music 
ok. If I uh, want to write one more definition, so what it can be a sound <coughs> which creates a disturbance which creates a disturbance in the environment is called as sound pollution ok. So, let us discuss what is there on the blackboard. So, noise pollution a sound which does not have a pleasant effect on us ok. What is that a sound which is not creating any kind of pleasant uh, effect for us that is what noise pollution or may it can be known as sound pollution. Now, then this is what I have written over here a sound which gives a pleasant sensation on our ears is what music ok. So, what is music when the uh, effect is which kind of effect like it gives a pleasant effect it gives a very nice soothing effect for us uh, on us leaves a soothing effect on us sorry. So, it is known as what music ok. Now, again I have written one more definition over here a sound which creates a disturbance ok a sound which creates a disturbance in the environment is called as sound pollution ok. See in the natural environment whenever ok in the natural environment whenever disturbance is created ok whenever disturbance is created you know uh, it does not matters it does not makes any difference that what is the source of the disturbance ok. It can be a supersonic jet plane it can be the loudspeaker it can be the noise of the you know the big machines whatever whatever the source is whatever the source is, but if the sound created by any kind of source creates disturbance in the environment then also it is known as noise pollution. And you know one thing like this sound, sound pollution has uh, like we cannot say like it is a very old problem this pollution uh, sound pollution I am talking about it has started uh, maybe I can say like it can be a problem of 20th century ok. Because and why it has come into existence children because our dependency ok the human beings dependency on machines has increased that is the reason we can see noise pollution ok and it is spreaded like anything. Now, it, the time has come when this need to control this noise pollution. So, what can be the control measures of noise pollution? Control measures of noise pollution. ok. So, now we have studied what is the meaning of noise pollution or what is the meaning of sound pollution. Now, we will see the effects ok. What are the effects ok effects of noise pollution ok. What are the effects of noise pollution? As I told that when the sound increases after a level ok a variable level it creates lot of disturbance in our body. Now, so uh, can the effects of noise pollution can be only felt or can also be seen or what can be the different effects of the noise pollution. So, children the first of all the first very big effect can what can be felt and can be seen is the disturbance. Noise pollution you know it 
creates lot of disturbance even you know uh, sometimes when the loudspeakers are there okay loudspeakers uh, you know if, uh, like maybe during any festival or any kind of uh, political event when the people use loudspeaker and if you talk if you want to talk you want to have a normal conversation with someone you won't be able to do that okay so what is the first thing first thing is it creates disturbance even in the normal conversation okay then when we say disturbance means what else uh, can be the uh, ways in which this noise pollution can can create disturbance so you know the next i can say is sleep sleep patterns get changed you know because if a person's sleeping time is some you know maybe 8 9 10 11 and due to some events or due to the use of loudspeakers you know the person uh, is not able to sleep so definitely his routine will be changed you know when uh, if a person really wants to be happy there are, i agree there are many other aspects which are there okay good amount of like uh, should be healthy uh financially he should he or she should be strong he should be healthy but the uh, when we talk about health again the sleep is very important part of health if a person fails to sleep properly okay if a person cannot sleep properly then automatically his or her uh, health will be deteriorated a person cannot remain healthy until unless he takes a proper sleep okay and just now i told that what does the sound pollution do it again disturbs the what it is it disturbs the sleep okay so sleep pattern gets disturbed okay then so first what i told children first i told it creates disturbance it creates disturbance in normal conversation okay it creates disturbance in normal conversation then it can create it can disturb the sleep pattern okay it can disturb a sleep pattern of any person which can affect health adversely okay now we'll talk about the third one okay now third one so if somebody is really shouting just in front of you maybe your younger brother or your younger sister is you know he or she is just sitting in front of you on your and he or she is shouting like anything you know and he is you know playing with trumpet you know that bhonga sort of thing he is blowing that in front of you what you will feel like what you want you know what feeling will come in your mind what you will do if a child is blowing trumpet again again in front of you what you will feel like i'll feel like slapping you know i don't know about you even so you know what does it gives it gives irritating like irritating feeling you know it gives irritation to you okay so i just i'll really i'll slap that child the one who will be you know blowing trumpet around me so this the thing is that i want to say like what is the feeling uh, which comes when you are you know uh, just frustrated by this sound it gives irritation okay so it can uh, irritate a person it irritates and headache also i told but i have not written so it may irritate a person it may gives headache to person sleep pattern will be disturbed it will create disturbance in the normal conversation and they talk okay so i should write can give 
हेडेक ओके ऑल्सो ओके सो इज एनी अदर थिंग विच यू फील विच इज रिलेटेड टू इरेटेबिलिटी ओके वेन यू आर आई एम टॉकिंग दैट आई एम सेंग दैट इट इट विल गिव हेड एक और यू विल फील इरिटेटेड सो एनी थिंग विच इज कॉमन लाइक हेड एक लाइक इट्स रिलेटिंग टू विच सिस्टम सो आई कैन से इट कैन क्रिएट डिस्टर्बेंस यू नो इट कैन इफेक्ट नर्वस सिस्टम इट कैन इफेक्ट नर्वस सिस्टम सो आई राइट कैन गिव हेड एक ऑल्सो गिवस नर्वस टेंशन okay so can give headache it will give rise to headache and also will give rise to nervous tension then what is the next one it can give rise to problem in hearing which can be temporary or permanent okay it can be temporary or permanent okay i have written short forms over here so what is this see it gets it creates disturbance in normal conversation and talk then it creates this it can disturb the sleep pattern of any person and as we have discussed if the person sleep get disturbed you know so the whole effect, uh, health uh, will be affected just take the example even one uh, night if you people are not able to sleep properly or just say that that next day you have a paper and whole night you didn't sleep okay so next day you will be able to uh, write paper after writing paper will you be f you, you will feel fresh no you won't feel uh, not feel you will not feel uh, feel fresh rather you will know what you will do you will sleep whole day isn't it so it will disturb the sleep pattern and until and unless a person had a good you know uh, sleep cannot feel fresh whole day uh, you know he will just feel he will have a feeling of you no know, he will have a tiry feeling okay so it won't give a fresh feeling to a person if the sleep is not proper then can give headache and also gives nervous tension so if some like you know continuously if some noise is coming maybe take the example of the boring okay when the boring is done boring means when the water has to you know water is removed from the surface of the inner surface of the earth so you know it it is also a long process where the uh, tools are being you know so it is uh, put up into the surface of the earth and the water is uh, the person looks for the water until unless the water is the level comes where the person gets water this process continues and this process also creates lot of sound lot of noise is created and you know it gives a irritation uh, it gives feeling of you know it frustrate a person and thus the nervous tension can be increased okay so now next one it can give rise to it can give rise and it can give rise in problem in hearing it can be temporary or permanent so it can give rise to problem in hearing the sentence is not correct yaar kya ho raha hai mujhe it can give rise uh, to problem in hearing or uh, it can be temporary or permanent okay the sentence is not framed properly but still i don't want to rub it okay so it's not properly framed so uh, if a person comes in contact with the noise lot of noise okay what will happen it will again give rise to what temporary or permanent hearing uh, imbalance will be there now uh, what are the other things which can be there so you know if a person is in uh, contact with the sound uh, continuously then it can affect the person's thinking process also okay the thinking process can also be affected you know in the uh, extreme case in the very rare cases it may also give rise to the uh, give rise to the uh, disease like uh, color blindness it is quite shocking but even this is seen that if a person you know he is there in uh, 
contact of uh, noise pollution for continue like you know, for many hours and this is this happens for long period of time then the person suffers from a if a person comes in contact with noise pollution for long hours it can give rise to disease like color blindness okay then it affects the thinking process okay it affects that it's not possible to write over there so it affects the thinking process also no children now when i'm saying that now, uh, you know noise pollution or sound pollution it gets affected by two things okay it gets affected or it you know like uh, 